History is being made at the Panama Canal and not in a good way. Water shortages in 2023 have led to the first ever restrictions on transits in the vital man-made shipping lane. Drought conditions exacerbated by this year's El Nino phenomenon significantly impacted the canal's reservoir system and has widespread repercussions on global shipping operations worldwide. Following Panama's rainy season, Lake Gatton, the reservoir that supplies water for the canal's locks and the country's biggest source of potable water, is currently six feet below anticipated levels. In response, the canal's port authority has reduced daily operations by 33 percent, allowing only 24 containers to pass through the lock system. This bottleneck is expected to worsen with the onset of the annual dry season. And the economic impact of that backup is exacerbated by other trade issues. Aside from these challenges, there have been several other issues that have been affecting international trade. One of which, for example, is the increase in interest rates. Interest rates has affected not only the value of merchandise, but the carrying cost of inventories. So it is more pressing nowadays for cargos to arrive on time in order to reduce excessive storage, excessive inventories, and incremental costs associated with it due to higher prices. 70 vessels are currently backlogged, a decrease from 160 just six months ago. On average, each ship waits 12 days before crossing the canal. The situation compounds problems shipping companies are having worldwide. Most notably, the Suez Canal, where Houthi rebel attacks have pushed shippers to find other routes. The Middle East creates a new situation that we, no one foresaw. This situation has included attacks to some of the vessels going through transit to the Suez Canal. In a world as today with high inflation and higher costs, any disruption at Suez will further complicate the situation in global trade and further create a worse expectations on the use of the Panama Canal and the limitations that we impose to international trade due to the lack of water. Dr. Morales also outlined plans to invest $2 billion to address future water shortages. One initiative involves damming a river to supplement Lake Gatton's water levels, potentially increasing the canal's daily capacity by accommodating an additional 15 ships.